Good afternoon, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane HD and Hurricane Pro video blog for the 29th of May, 2013. The big story today, Tropical Storm Barbara down in the eastern Pacific, making landfall right now in extreme southern Mexico in the Gulf of Tehuantepec, and a small system overall, but still bringing the threat of tropical storm force winds, maybe some hurricane force gusts, heavy rains, and a storm surge of three to five feet, mainly to the east of where the center makes landfall. You can see a fairly well-established outflow tail along the southern and southwest side of the tropical storm. It's interesting, you have this thin landmass down here, what we call this isthmus, a geographic term. Same thing we have down here with Panama and Costa Rica, uh, but this one's a little bit thicker, obviously. But this landmass, not nearly as rugged nor as lengthy to traverse, so there's a chance, as we'll investigate in a moment, that Barbara could come in here and eventually get out over what's called the Bay of Campeche right in this area and regenerate. We'll have to wait and see. Upper-level winds not that unfavorable across the region. Water temperatures are certainly warm enough. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Here is the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, Barbara inching closer to the coast ever since this graphic was put out at around 8 o'clock uh, Pacific time or 11 a.m. Eastern. Hurricane warnings in effect for a portion of the Mexican coastline. A very small area, though, being impacted, but the impacts of rain, uh, tropical storm force winds, and again that storm surge that accompanies these systems mainly to the right front quadrant region of where they make landfall, all part of the hazards associated with this particular system, Barbara. As you can see, the forecast track does take the post-tropical uh, depression, low, whatever you want to call it, into the extreme southern Bay of Campeche, which is right here. So there's a chance that it could regenerate once it's there, although, you know, the Hurricane Center has five-day forecasts they sort of kill it off or end it here by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, 5 p.m. Thursday. It's gone. Dissipated is what they're anticipating. So we'll see about that. Here's a radar shot from earlier today. Fairly well-defined tropical storm with nice banding structure associated with the center of circulation here. Very small in size, though, which is good. That means it'll be limited in terms of the impact that it has to areas in southern Mexico, uh, we're not talking about a large aerial extent of this storm, but nevertheless, for the people that it is impacting, not a very pleasant day for them for sure. Looking at an infrared satellite picture, pretty cold cloud tops down there, as you uh, can see, that's indicated here by these colors. The farther to the right you go, the higher the cloud tops are on this particular scale, looking at temperatures of the clouds and that translates to some pretty heavy rainfall when you get those really high thunderstorm tops very cold cloud tops in the atmosphere you get some very heavy rainfall underneath but you can also see that barbara is not very large in size fortunately if you drew a similar size circle in the gulf of mexico that's what it would look like so it's not a very large system and it'll probably weaken to just a remnant low before it gets over the Bay of Campeche, but you never know. Some of the computer models indicating, depending on which one you follow, a general turn back towards the west-northwest to northwest here. Once it does cross over, whatever is left of it should get steered back towards the west-northwest and eventually into mainland Mexico. This pink one here is the GFDL model. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head which one this one is, but a couple of them indicating a chance that it could get into the Gulf. And don't let this fool you, though. You see, wow, this is headed up towards Louisiana. Well, that's just one model from one run, and it could be way off. This gray line right here is the consensus model, and it's indicating a trek into the Gulf of Mexico as well. So we'll wait and see what happens. It's uh, not unheard of that these crossings do take place. And what happens if it does? Right now its name is Barbara. And if it crosses over into the Gulf of Mexico, Bay of Campeche area, and remains a viable tropical cyclone, 
and it's a depression, then it would be Tropical Depression 1 for the Atlantic Basin. If it was a tropical storm, it would get the name Tropical Storm Andrea, uh, the first name on the list for this season. That's what happens when they cross from one basin over here into another one over here. They get the next name on that basin's list. That's just the way it is. Water temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico, plenty warm. Uh, anything that you see in the cyan color on to the right is plenty warm for uh, tropical cyclone formation, so the water temperature is not an issue. The ocean heat content, eh, you know, down here in the Bay of Campeche, there's a little bit of it, as indicated by this little lighter shade of blue. Eh, down at the bottom uh, part of the scale for ocean heat content, but nonetheless it's there. A lot more heat content over here, as you can see. So, we'll wait and see how it all works out. Right now, the main impacts, of course, are going to be in Mexico. It's a slow-moving system. It's not moving rapidly, so it may just drag its feet long enough to weaken into a remnant low and not bother anybody after it leaves Mexico. But we'll keep an eye on it, and I'll talk about it again tomorrow in the video blog posted then. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, my website. Check it out sometime if you haven't already. Always an honor to produce these videos for you on Hurricane Pro and the iPad edition, Hurricane HD. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.